you know that feeling when it's so hot and you're not necessarily in a bad mood but you feel like really sleepy and like tired yeah that's me today and i already had coffee yay sugar hi guys it's me christy and i'm here with my march book haul i didn't mean to buy books this month but they just kind of happened and i'm not sorry not one bit by the way have you noticed new angle what what that's right i'm in my room my comfort zone also because it's practically summer even though it's not exactly summer but it is just so hot right now in the philippines it's like sun philippines earth so yeah that's why i'm here and the air conditioning's on so if you guys hear like background noise that's just because the air conditioning's on so yeah um okay let's continue to the video so the first book but not well actually yeah the first book i got this month was throne of glass by sarah j mass i actually read uh, well not read but like listened to the audiobook and i wanted the physical copy so i got it after i tried to order it and they said oh it's gonna take a month and then like two weeks later boom all five books of throne of glass are like in my bookstore Hmm. So yeah, okay. Then the next book that I got is The Seeing Stone by um, Kevin Crossley Holland, book one in the Arthur trilogy. It looks really good. Um, I've just been in the mood to... Actually, what you're gonna notice in this haul is there's a lot of like middle grade. And that's because I've been in the mood to read a lot of this stuff uh, recently. So when I see it in the bookstore, I just sort of grab it. And I'm also trying to finish... Um, a series of unfortunate events by Lemony Snicket, currently for the Slay That Series readathon, and yeah, just lots of middle grade because I just I kind of wanted something light and something um, easy to like speed through, but also that's something I could enjoy. So yeah, the next book I got was talked about a lot in Lindsay Ray's channel and how she loves Brandon Sanderson and his series. This. Is there a plural for series? Well, anyway, um, it's called Alcatraz vs. the Evil, Li Evil Librarians by Brandon Sanderson. And I really can't wait to get started because it was actually like fate, I guess, that I found book one in this series um, right in my used bookstore. And book two is there somewhere also, so I'm going to get it if I finish reading this and I like it. Yes! And then... Um, I got a really tiny mass market paperback called Across the Nightingale Flow, Swords of the Warrior, Tales of the Otori. I said that in a really bad British accent and I'm really sorry if I offend anybody, but yeah, it just, it sounded like I needed to do that to hype up this tiny, tiny, cute little book by Leon Hearn. So yes, it's really small and like compared to my other books, like... See? See? Yeah. Um, it was, I found this also in um, my used bookstore for like 10 pesos. I tried getting into this when I was younger, but it just never clicked with me. So hopefully I like it now. And the next one, you've already seen it, but it is John Steinbeck, The Pearl. I have this in National Bookstore also, but it's a bit more pricey and it's really, really thin. Like, it's, it's just my finger. And, um, I didn't want to spend that much for something I might not like. So I'm actually glad I found a copy of this in book sale for much, much cheaper. And it seems like it's okay in pretty good condition still, so that's not so bad. And then the next book that I got, and I was really excited because, like, ever since I started watching the TV show of this, um, book, I've been wanting to read it. And that is um, Lev Grossman's The Magicians. Yes, it's so pretty. Unfortunately, I missed the sale on this, but it's still cheap anyway, so that was pretty good. And I'm planning to do a review on the book versus the, versus the TV show when the TV show's done and when I'm done reading this book. And then the next book. I'm going to show you guys is is um, by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddell. They're like this magical writer illustrator duo that like makes children's reading experiences like amazing. 
Like they brought the they brought the Edge Chronicles and then another series called The Immortals, and I uh, know the last book called The Immortals, and um, they also did this one about Barnaby Grimes that I really really enjoyed. I only read one book of that, but like I've been looking for the rest of the series ever since. But this one is another, I think, children's series. It's called Muddle Earth. It's when a real kid gets, like, put into this fantasy world or something. And, um... Yeah. He has to fight a lot of bad stuff. And I'm really looking forward to it because it just brings back so many, like, Edge Chronicles feels for me. Um... The Edge Chronicles was actually one of the series that made me really fall in love with reading. I didn't realize that worlds could be that complex, especially for like a middle grade children's series. Because I've always seen like, oh, it's just really light, easy to read. But then when I read the Edge Chronicles, I was like, dang, there's like death here and like politics and lots of cool stuff, including a cool world, which is right here. I just love their maps. The way they're drawn and like where they are and stuff it's just so good so yes and the last book but well no not the last book but yeah the next book is called miss wood by leia Saipes. it was blurred by tamara pierce and tamara pierce is bay and because i love my bay i will trust my bay so there we go and now the last book, which is probably, I'm not going to say it's the best book, but it there's a lot of hype about it right now. And I've been reading this since the start. And of course, I'm pretty sure you all know what's going to be, but it's Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. Yes, book one in the Dark Artifices. Ah, I'm just so happy I have this, like... I'm just gonna wait till my um, young, I mean, uh, middle grade kick is finished, and probably when say the series is finished, uh, I'm going to read this. Yes, I've waited so long, a year technically ish, or more, but still, like I have it. It's beautiful. I'm a big fan. Been following this series since I was like 15, 16. Yeah. Okay, so these are all the books I got in the month of March. Um, I hope I don't buy any more because this is already a lot. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking around. Um, like and subscribe if you want. And let me know if you've read any of these or if you're planning to read any of these and what you thought. Thank you. Bye.